Hello comrades, the West Iron Soviet here, and today we'll be playing some World of Warships. I was going to do, uh, do a video on The Sims, but they released one of the ships I have been waiting for in World of Warships for a long time. This is the USS Arizona. If you don't know much about the Arizona, the Arizona is well known for a little event that happened on December 7th, 1941, around 8 a.m. If you don't know what that event was, that was Pearl Harbor, the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. Most of the men who died at Pearl Harbor died aboard this ship. The U.S. Arizona was in dry dock when the Japanese attacked. A bomb pierced her citadel and blew the bow off the ship. The ship went down. How is she in World of Warships? Well, she is an amazing Tier 6 American battleship. Now, I do want to state this. Her guns only have a 16 kilometer range, but if you fit one of these to it, it'll bring it up by 16% which will bring it up to about 18.6 which is good well th which is good she has the same armor concept as the um, uh, the New Mexico but which that armor concept is called the all or nothing armor concept where in other words her armor is extremely good around the citadel so you want to aim for midship but I haven't taken a lot of damage every time I take this ship out I mean I've only died in it once and I've sailed it four times but the one time I died was because of carrier borne aircraft torpedo bombers mainly I was sailing alongside an island this ship is actually pretty maneuverable too now you can't tell from that though. Well, let's take her out. Oh, and I unlocked the Colorado. So that's going to be fun. I had to sell my New Mexico to get it too. So I gotta buy back my New Mexico too. Because I liked the New Mexico. And this ship plays like a better New Mexico. What do you mean, like a better New Mexico? Well, the New Mexico, with how I had her upgraded, her before I fitted one of those uh, range room things, modules, she can only fire out to a range of 14.9 kilometers, which is bad for a battleship. Very, very bad. Where did I put that? Oh, there it is. Wow, it's taken us a while to find a match. She's a tier 6 battleship too, so she can be used in um, uh, in ranked battles, which is good, because she's a fun ship to play. Ship to play. I haven't got around to doing ranked battles yet. Alright, it's a tier 7 maximum game. They have a Colorado, a New Mexico, and an Arizona, and a New York. We have two New Mexicos, my U.S. Arizona, and we have an APR Congo, but we got an Atlanta. If the Atlanta person knows how to play it, that's good. Destroyer-wise, eh, we, we got the gunboat advantage because we have this little thing right here. And we got a Kamikaze R, but they got a Minikaze, so we gotta watch out for that <gasps> Minikaze. Um, yeah, we're going that way. I am not going that way.
but at least it's All right. I like the red on the gun turrets. I don't know why. I just really, really do. All right, we're gonna go this way, which I know the Minakazi is probably gonna go this way. But her guns. All right. When I shut off the New Mexico at longer range, you saw how inaccurate the New Mexico's guns were. But these ones are fairly decent. They're, they're better at long range. So if you're going to use... You're going to use this ship, and you need to close, start closing. I haven't got a chance to really test her secondary gun batteries, because no one's really gotten that close to me. But from what I've seen, she got more than the Texas. She has a fairly decent anti-aircraft rating for a battleship. I mean, you can't compare it to the Texas. The Texas is a special case. Ah, shit. I hit part of the island head with, I think, my front turrets, so my rear gun batteries are still going. Alright, we hit with two. That's good. I heard it. Oh, it's over there. Good, as long as it's over there. That's the New Mexico. No, that's the Colorado. Why are they going that way? Shots out. We fired 12, let's see how many hit. Well, that's two. Well, at long range where you gotta use the scout plane. And, that's a Colorado. I've never really been able to judge the shots on a Colorado. But, that's a New Mexico. I don't know how fast the Colorado can go. I just unlocked mine. All right, we're moving over here with two destroy with two cruisers. Oh, and we got our battleship escort. No, I'm not protecting the CV. I'm slow. Only do 20 knots. <laughs> Guys are acting like on that damn Congo over there. Scratch that. I only do 20 knots unless I change my course. If I change my course, I bleed off speed. Because they put. On the outbreak of World War II, they bolted a lot. They bolted some anti torpedo belt armor onto the Arizona that way if she had to fight anything with torpedoes she wouldn't have to worry too much but her deck armor is what got pierced by the by the dive bombers and it wasn't pretty it hit her powdered storage Are all three of us going over this way? Well, we already lost the Kamikaze R. Do 
Well, that's another New Mexico going over. The There's another New Mexico over there. Can I hit you? Damn it, you're just outside my gun range. Damn, that would have been a perfect shot, too. That's a side shot on a Pensacola. That would have pierced his armor like a like a firecracker through a Pepsi can. Turn my forward gun batteries forward. There's a destroyer up ahead. I pay attention to my surroundings. I want the, those rear gun batteries. You need... Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Turn, 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 turn. See? They're more accurate than Japanese battleship guns. Like the Congo. He's gonna try to hit me with torpedoes. So you gotta adjust your course and speed. Guns are almost reloaded. We should be able to nuke this dumbass out of the water. Guns up! Forward gun batteries reloaded. See? These guns are accurate. Alright, we're gonna go around the head of this island and contest the enemy cap. She's good at shooting at destroyers. Like, if they get close enough to you, and you can dodge, dodge the enemy torpedoes, then you can nuke it out of the water. These guns are really good. Like, that is her, her main trump card, is she has good guns. And we lost our other destroyer, but good news is they're out of destroyers too. So, we both lost a cruiser and two destroyers. This is where the fun starts to kick in because now it's going to be now it's going to be cruisers and battleships and aircraft carriers fighting. Well, that New Mexico is sailing in formation with me. All right, can we hit this cruiser? Hell no, he's running away. I think that's uh, either an Omaha or a Marblehead. We don't want to run aground. I do not want to be stationary for too long. He's within my gun range. And that's New York. Time to eat for you to meet the U.S. Arizona. Alright, we lost a battleship, but that was that New Mexico that was AFK. Oh, and we lost another cruiser, shit. Alright, we gotta start fighting hard. That's a horrible angle. Wait for it, he's a dumbass. Those ones did more damage. Do not sail broadside on to the U.S. Arizona. The amount of guns this ship packs, you do not want to be on the receiving end of these 14-inch guns when you're sailing broadside on and making yourself a flat target. That's probably the Arizona, Arizona or the Colorado. That's the Colorado. We need no that. What is that? 
Oh, that's the Arizona. <laughs> Sailing that ship, being like, what the hell is that ship? Oh. Sail broadside onto a battleship. That's a paddling. I haven't got a citadel penetration ever in this ship. <sighs> See? If you angle her armor, you cannot sail broadside on to enemy battleships in this ship. You need to angle her armor. But, once you angle her armor, she is an amazing ship and that Arizona has fired. Alright, we got an island between us and them. That's the Colorado. I'm not taking hits from 16 inch guns. The enemy team can suck my dick. <laughs> Come on. Turn forward gun batteries. Come on, we gotta stick together. <laughs> That's all we gotta do is stick together and we can win this, actually. Alright, get the gun batteries ready to fire. I'm going down fighting. Like, the guns are her, her strong point, but if you angle the armor, the armor's actually pretty well sloped towards the front. Like, if you angle it, it's most likely to bounce. But again, you have to angle it. I cannot stress this enough. See, that was against a Colorado, and I bounced. How many of those shots? And you can't say they didn't bounce. You could hear them bounce. All right, we're going to do one more game. She does, see, she does consistent damage. Well, when you have to shoot at, break up the damage. So let's take her out. I don't really want that tier 2 battleship that they got for the missions in the premium thing because I know what it is. It's the one with the guns that can't hit a barn, broadside of a barn from the inside of the barn. All right, let's see what we let's see what type of match we get in again. All right, it's a tier 7 game. They got a Nagato though. So do we. They got two New Mexicos. We got a New Mexico and an Arizona. We both got an APR Congo. We got an Atlanta, they got a Mioko. We got a York, they got an Alba. Nuremberg, Molotov. Molotov, Omaha, Konigsberg, Konigsberg, Kirov, oh shit. Yeah, they got 
a Farragut and a Sims and a Mitsuki. The Mitsuki we gotta worry about. The other two, we just gotta worry about them lighting us on fire. I'm gonna sail up my guns pointed like that. I'd say this is a pretty even match. Right about there. I mean, she is a beautiful ship. I mean, look at her. The only thing I feel that I have to stress is when, since it takes her a while to build up speed again, be careful when being engaged by too many aircraft, because she doesn't have, she has like your standard tier 6 battleship anti-aircraft rating, but she doesn't... I'm not trying to say she doesn't maneuver too much, but when she bleeds off a lot of speed, it's hard for her to get that speed back. Like, she has a real good rudder shift time for a battleship. Like, she is a very American battleship. That's the one APR ship I want that I'm missing, is the APR Congo, and I want it. But I'll stick with my U.S. Arizona. Alright, I feel sorry for the first ship to be spotted because... The Congo already sees stuff? Well, hell. Shoot at that. Anytime I see one destroyer get spotted, I always focus my secondaries on it. Oh, my spotter's airborne. Should I shoot at the, the destroyer? What one is it? Oh, please tell me that's the Mitsuki. YOLO. There. I just shot up that canal. Damn it, now a cruiser's been spotted. Like, I just, I got on the World of Warships, um, uh, I go on the World of Warships site, like, once, once a, once a day, to see if they, like, release any patch notes, because I want to see if they add new battleships, because one of my guns didn't get to fire. I, I checked that, and I saw Premium Spotlight, U.S. Arizona, and I'm like, I want that. That's the Farragut. Wait, is it a fa Yeah, it's a Farragut. Reloading the guns. Preparing to fire. Yes, they go right through that destroyer, but I'm sorry, a 14 inch shell going right through your ship, I think that would do more damage to your ship. Oh wait, then you got bulkheads and shit that you can just seal. You're sailing at an angle, but you're getting dangerously close. Okay, it's not the Nagato. You're gonna feel this. Five hits? Eh, he felt it. 
Congo, why are you running away? Oh, yeah, because there's a uh, Miyoko within 11 kilometers. You gotta be careful with the rudder on this, because if you bleed off too much speed, you'll be sitting dead in the water. Yeah, he wasn't falling for that again. See? Now, do we have the balls to sail into that smoke screen? That New Mexico is still closing. He's not afraid. Fear of the U.S. Arizona. We missed. Because I gave that too much lead. Ah, shit. They're going to go after the base. Well, I'm going to continue wiping these guys out. And then I'm going to turn around and defend the cap. Because really, I can't afford to let these guys get away. Shit, shit. I'm going to be within range of that New Mexico in a minute. And I'm sailing broadside on. Well, we halted their... Their assault. They can't keep attacking with us all here. And that's why you angle her. See, she does consistent damage. I haven't got a Citadel with her yet, but she uses, I think, the same ammunition as the New Mexico, because I think she uses the same guns, but they're better. It'd be like the case of the Stug 3 in World of Tanks has this a 76mm anti-tank gun, but on the E25, it's amazing and overpowered and he's gonna try to torpedo me but I got news for him he's getting blown out the fucking water no he's not you however it's only one fire don't put it out I gotta, I gotta destroy that Miyoko. Cruisers pose a threat. That's when you put it out, when there's two fires. Ah, oh, fuck, I'm caught in a crossfire. We're probably gonna die, guys. We're caught in a crossfire. This is the situation you do not want to be in. We're caught between... What is that? Two New Mexicos. What we're doing, the one of our turrets has been knocked out. That is not a good thing. Oh, 
Fuck you, Miyoko. That's more of a in-depth angle against him. Alright, that Miyoko's behind an island. He can't hit us now. But, that New Mexico, I can't worry about that one anymore. Heal, bitch. See, that's the problem. You can't overshoot it with your rudder. She has... Her rudder will shift, but you can't overshoot it. And just like that, another full health Japanese cruiser is engaging us with high explosive. See? Broadside on. Still no citadels. We don't have a lot of health, so we can't afford to be burning. That is a Soviet cruiser. All I need is one shot. Clever girl. <laughs> Alright. So as you can see, if you can play American battleships, you will do good in the U.S. Arizona. Alright, comrades. This is the U.S. Arizona. If you want it, it's available in the premium gift shop right now. But I'm going to call this video here. My name is the Western Soviet. Thank you for joining me here on World of Warships.